A solar flare from the sun can have catastrophic effects on our technology here on Earth, and are closely monitored by scientists. In this video, we're going to have a look at what a solar flare is, and what effects it can have on our technology. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with what a solar flare actually is. This is an artist's impression of a solar flare for reference. A solar flare is a sudden and intense burst of energy and light that comes from the sun. It happens when there are changes in the sun's magnetic field, which causes a release of a huge amount of energy into space. This energy includes light, x-rays and high energy particles. Solar flares can be powerful and are often accompanied by the injection of charged particles into space. When these charged particles reach Earth, they can interact with our planet's magnetic field, causing phenomena like geomagnetic storms and auras in the polar regions, similar to the famous northern lights. While solar flares are a natural part of the sun's activity, they can sometimes affect our technology and communication systems. Let's have a look at what may be affected. Solar flares can interfere with radio signals and disrupt satellite communication systems, including GPS navigation. This can affect various sectors, including aviation, maritime, agriculture, and emergency services that rely on accurate GPS positioning. Geomagnetic storms induced by solar flares can cause fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field, which can induce electric currents in power lines and transformers. This can lead to voltage instability and damage to power grid equipment. In extreme cases, widespread power outages can occur. This will affect homes, businesses, and other critical infrastructure. Solar flares can disrupt high-frequency radio communications, particularly over long distances. This can impact military communications, emergency services, and international broadcasting. Spacecraft outside Earth's protective atmosphere are vulnerable to the harmful effects of solar flares. Radiation from solar flares can damage onboard electronics, and increase health risks to astronauts on long-term missions, such as those to Mars. The compounded effects of the disruption of power grids, communication systems, and critical infrastructure can have a significant financial impact on industries and business. Insurance claims related to solar flare-induced damage would also likely be substantial, meaning solar flares are not only inconvenient, but also incredibly expensive. So how concerned should we actually be? While solar flares occur very regularly, but they rarely impact Earth. However, the ones we should be worried about are known as super flares, which occur roughly every 250 to 480 years. The last occurred in 1859, when the world was of course a lot less reliant on electricity and technology than today. The 1859 solar flare is sometimes known as the Carrington event, and lasted for nearly a day. It caused telegraph systems all over the world to fail and caused telegraph poles to spark, causing fires. It is estimated if a super flare similar in size to the one during the Carrington event occurred today, it would cause over $700 billion in damage. Do you think we take the risk of solar flares seriously enough? Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.